it just breaks my heart that people cannot just, you know, listen to our stories. Stories Aziz Abu Zayed told Fox 13 News on Wednesday of loved ones he's lost over the past month in Gaza during the war between Israel and Hamas. Mariam was my cousin. She shared her dreams with me of becoming um, an English language teacher, a translator. She had a family, she had three children. A die-in was organized inside of the capital by several groups, including the Palestinian Solidarity Association of Utah. Palestinians and their allies of all ages laid out across the floor, speaking out about what they are calling genocide currently taking place in Gaza. They are literally dying in the street. Eventually, demonstrators moved outside to the south steps of the capital to have their voice heard. I want everyone to know that Palestinians are not Hamas. Well, whether it was inside or even outside here near the south steps of the capital, one chant that could be heard on several occasions was for a ceasefire to happen in Gaza. Also inside the capital on Wednesday, the House met in an extraordinary session discussing a resolution in support of Israel. That resolution condemns the Hamas attacks and says Utah remains steadfastly in support of Israel and its people, urging the United States and foreign countries to do the same. Representative Jason Kyle is the sponsor of the resolution. I think that it's important that we remember what happened uh, a little bit over a month ago when evil showed its face and a terrorist organization uh, came in and did some unspeakable atrocities to a, a, a historically persecuted uh, people and community. The resolution was amended in response to complaints it didn't include Muslim Americans. One lawmaker tried to strip Jewish Americans and Muslim Americans out in favor of all Americans, but that got rejected by House lawmakers. The Utah Muslim Civic League told Fox 13 News that the original resolution was one-sided. But after the vote, the group felt the resolution still did not go far enough. It did not address our community at all. And I can assure you that this will have repercussions. Hate incidences are going to increase even further the way we are being isolated. The Senate will not take up this resolution. They passed their own in a session last month. On the Hill, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.